Oh my gosh, you guys. I got so much sun today. I'm like so red. <laughs> I had so much fun. I was like biking most of the day and uh, just laying at the beach, soaking it up. Yeah, I'm really excited. Had smashed like two coconuts and I just had watermelon for breakfast. I had a uh, mango almost rolled away. I had a watermelon. Oh man, that's a bad spot. Oh. Watermelon, lime, and ginger. I've been out all day. It's like 12.30 now. I've been out since 6. Yeah. So I did a pretty killer tricep. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, I didn't even grab a spoon. One second. I did a tricep, chest, and shoulders. Um, let's see how this is. Thank you so much, God. Have a little little seeds. Dang, that is perfect. This lady has the best papayas, I swear. She always has the super ripe ones. Usually I have to get them slightly underripe because that's all people sell. So yeah, I had like three kilos of watermelon for breakfast. And I kind of chewed on a bit of ginger, which is a really nice combo. I don't know, I'm not really feeling watermelon juice anymore. I was going to juice it, but I'm like, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but this is like red, like deep red. It's crazy. My camera quality is not really the best, this phone. My God. Papaya, also a decent source of sodium. Scrape this part out here. Yeah, I just had a watermelon for breakfast. Matt kept me satisfied for so long. A little bit of lime in there. Wow. I was going to add lime to this papaya, but it is crazy good. If I had to choose watermelon or papaya, definitely papaya. I'm going to be so red tomorrow for work. <laughs> I was actually going to get my beard trimmed today, but the late, the guy wasn't there. The guy I usually go to. So nix that idea. I don't know. I'm just not feeling the beard right now. I might shave it all off. Might get a nice trim. I don't know. I don't know why. Not feeling it right now. At this particular moment in my life, I like to switch it up, you know? And then my students have something to talk about. Be like, oh my gosh, teacher. You're new teacher. <laughs> They're so funny. Where is teacher Austin? <laughs> My kindergartners are so freaking cute. As soon as they see me, it could even be like through the door. 
They'll like come out the door and greet me. They'll be like, hello, teacher. How are you? They only have a short vocabulary and it's, it's just so cute. They want to learn so much. I have this new student, Ken. He's four years old. But he's so smart. He's like just as smart as the rest of the kids. You know what? I have five and six year olds. In that class, there's like eight students now. But the student, Ken, his mom is actually a professor at university. So he like does a lot of extracurricular activities and she really got him like in on the, you know, he knows a lot of English. I'm always surprised like he's even slightly ahead of some of the other students in some areas. Can you fly? No, I cannot fly. Crazy. As a four-year-old? What do you do at the park? I make friends. I love that class. I love all my classes though. Some are just a bit more challenging at times. Like my, uh, you know, my fourth graders. Or is it fourth grade? I don't know, they don't have grades. Like with the private school, it just, um, oh, that's a nice looking mango. It's just uh, the, the course that's called English English World. So it'd be like anywhere from like 12, um, I think 12 is the youngest, to like 14, it's like my oldest student. Wow, that just goes right through. I can't believe these are 20,000 a kilo. Oh my God. Usually I pay double for this quality. This is insane. So yeah, I really enjoy my job. It can be challenging, it can be stressful. It is what it is, I love it. Some students want to learn, some students don't want to learn. You just kind of have to accept it. Mangoes. Oh, mango season. Mango and dragon fruit season. Yes. Such a great time to be in Vietnam. And watermelon season. But I take papaya and mangoes any day.
Papaya is actually a non-seasonal tropical fruit, which is supposedly what humans evolved with. There wasn't many tropical fruits, I mean seasonal fruits back in the day. Mm. Crazy mangoes. Crazy mangoes. Absolutely insane. So yeah, maybe I'll get my beard trimmed in the next couple days. Maybe I'll shave my head again. I don't even know at this point. This is the first time I'm like sitting down all day. I've been out running around. Feels so good to stay active. Anyways, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I kind of wanted to just to talk about my job. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Is there anything else I could add? Yeah, we, they really need teachers here, too. And if you can get to Vietnam um, when the border is open, you know, I would highly recommend it. It's, uh, it's quite lucrative, um, especially with the cost of living here in Vietnam compared to China, Korea, per se. Like, those are a lot more expensive. You may get paid a little bit more, but um, you need a bachelor's degree. Here you don't need a degree. Um, you pretty much just need to be a native English speaker. And even if you're not, I have friends from Australia. I mean, not Australia, <laughs> South Africa. And they get a job super easy. So um, yeah, it's a great option for, uh, for others. It'd be cool to um, meet up. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one. Peace and love, everybody.